love to give a warm welcome for uh, Tyson Knight out to the stage. Alright, so welcome, welcome to Television. Absolutely. So, just real quick, I wanted to just kick it off right off the bat. This piece right here, this Hello Kitty piece, yeah. this is for sale, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so, if you guys wanted to get this, like, by all means, dude, it's all, it's all on you guys. So, but, so, we also have something over here called The Art of Hustle, right? This is a documentary produced by you. Okay, so this is a documentary I produced. Uh, it took me about nine months to shoot that. Uh, all around Coachella Valley, I wanted to showcase artists from the desert to you know, kind of put us on the map, let people know that it's a lot of talent in the desert as far as art. Right. So yeah, it was it was a good time over that. Um, not long hours. It took 18 hours of footage, mashed it down to 57 minutes. So uh, I think we got a real good really project. It's gonna go far. It's awesome. So now originally you said you're from Jersey. Right? Yeah, I'm originally from New Jersey. Yes. Okay, and, and you, what part of Jersey did you grow up in? I grew up in a uh, town called Willingboro, New Jersey, which is about 15 minutes outside of Philadelphia. Okay. So, you know, I got a lot of inspiration, uh, seeing graffiti on the trains and stuff like that. And that uh, inspired me to uh, pull up to the house about seven or eight. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you just recently sold some pieces, uh, or a piece, at Desert, Desert Art Center in uh, Palm Springs. Springs. Yes, I'm actually a member of uh, Desert Art Center in Palm Springs. Um, I did a uh, three-piece uh, set called Urban Koi, which is my take on koi fish, but done in a graffiti urban style. Um, yeah, they sold. I did it. So it was uh, last season. So, so would you say that, that? How would you describe your style if you were if you were just explain it to somebody who has never seen any of your work before? I would describe it as uh, pop urban art. A little bit of an Andy Warhol type style mixed with uh, Basquiat, a little Keith Haring. They were all graffiti artists. But that's by Andy Warhol. Yeah, they inspired me. So it's kind of a mashup of style. Yeah. And it's, so, it's, so it's mainly graffiti art that is taking what you do, and, or, and you're trying to take graffiti art to another level. And, and even in the galleries, would that be safe yeah, to say? Yeah, what I'm trying to do is actually. Uh, Take graffiti art and mix it with fine art and get it into more galleries and get more people with fine art to appreciate uh, graffiti. And don't look at it as something that's vandalism or you know, something that needs to be covered up. Because, you know, usually uh, a lot of graffiti in street art, depends on if it's a mural or not, but street art, a lot of this beautiful graffiti gets covered up. Right. Um, and um, I think that it should be so beautiful. I mean, it's so, it's so original. And I want people to look at it on light see that is actually artwork as well so that's what I would do have you ever done any graffiti graffiti absolutely <laughs> we won't we won't say where or anything like that but but so that's do you feel different doing it for you know a piece that could potentially be for sale in a gallery versus just raw creating it on the side of a train or a building that just depend, depends on my, my mood um, some stuff I do on canvas some I do in the streets I, I went into this thing more so not looking for any monetary gain. Um, I was just blessed to be able to make money off of selling the art. But I mean, I, I would do it for free. You know, I would do it for free. That's how I know you're going to go far because you do it for the love of it. Absolutely. Tyson Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.